Okay, y'all keep it going one more time for Kenyo, the hardest working man in San Antonio. If you're missing teeth, Sheba Dental has a permanent solution to fix your smile and your confidence. At Sheba Dental, we specialize in a revolutionary procedure that restores your smile. Our mini dental implant procedure costs 20% less than other dental implants, with plans starting as low as $190 per month. I come to Sheba Dental because the dentists focus on professionalism, and the procedures are quick with recovery time. Now is your time to get your smile back. Call Sheba Dental today to schedule your free consultation. Man, I'm pretty happy. This is probably the biggest crowd I've had. I'm lying. Uh, got the size of a WNBA crowd right here, so we, uh, <laughs> we'll make this work. Uh, forgive me, I just got off of work, but I am happy. I just got a brand new job, so I'm celebrating. And I feel like, uh, thank you, thank you. I'm actually going to keep this job this time. I've, I've had a lot of jobs. <laughs> am I the only person that's had a whole bunch of jobs? Okay, y'all had a bunch of jobs? Okay. I probably have more jobs than anybody. And, um, I think I, I've had so many jobs. Like I got all these job uniforms. I'm about to just start rocking them like jerseys everywhere. It's just, that's, that's how bad it is. Um, but it's, it's stressful doing comedy. Um, feeling old because somebody earlier told me I'm like a celebrity. <laughs> She's already laughing, so I think you got somebody in mind. Uh, go ahead, spit it out. Who I was like, you, you thought of something? Who's that? Chris Tucker. Harry Spears. I appreciate you, bro. Harry Spears. Okay, I guess I did gain a little weight. I hate you, by the way. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, Harry Spears is dope. Do you like Harry Spears? Is that why you said that? He did the, the impressions. I'm gonna try some impressions. It might as well, right? Y'all like impressions? Yeah. Who y'all want to hear? I can't do that. It's, uh... <laughs> try somebody else. I probably could, but I worked all day. I'm a little tired. That take a lot of energy. Who else y'all like? Chris Tucker. All right, I'm gonna do um, Jay Z. <laughs> I'm gonna do Jay Z. All right. I don't know how this is gonna come out since we're outside and everything is gonna be an echo, so don't judge me. Okay, but uh, and I love Jay Z. He's like my favorite rapper all the time. Anybody you, you, you rap, right? You like hoes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you, you do, if you don't like hoes, you don't know hip hop. But I feel like Jay Z is a little too old. He's still making albums. Like, he gonna run out of stuff to rap about. What he gonna rap about? Okay, like going vegan or something? And, yeah. It's your boy Jay. Oh, I can't even do it right now. It's your boy Young Ho. It's in the kitchen making turkey burgers, y'all. <laughs> Cooking. They ready, B? It's your boy. All right. I don't think that came out too good. All right, one more impression. One more impression. One more impression. What else y'all like? Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. All right, Sinbad. I'm too dark skinned for that. All right. <laughs> Can't do Sinbad. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to do Snoop Dogg. I love Snoop Dogg's another one of my favorite rappers. And Snoop is the coolest because I've never seen Snoop mad. Like, Snoop is always cool. He can say anything to Snoop and he ain't going to get mad. Why is he so cool all the time, y'all think? Because he's always high. Yeah, he's always medicated. He's up in the sky. Like, you can run up to Snoop and be like, hey, Snoop. Your family's got into a car accident, man. Snoop just be like, for real? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say again? Just... All right, that was my Snoop. One more impression, one more impression. So I'm going to do my very first impression that I ever did, because I used to be better at impressions when I was, when I was younger. My first impression I ever did was um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, so I'm gonna do Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was six. This is my first impression of doing Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was six. I'll be back. All right, that's all I got right there. That was that was Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was six. <laughs> oh man, so if y'all wondering why I may look a little bit nervous, because like I've never performed and like been this close to the streets, and I've seen like three cops drive by and I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Okay, like seriously, seriously nervous. I got a lot of a lot of warrants. Cops are always messing with me. Like I got a ticket early this week. And this is what he pulled me over for. I'm being 100% honest. He said that I was driving in the left lane for two miles straight without passing somebody. 
That's why he pulled me over. So I know he was profiling me, okay? Because I'm young and I'm black, and um, I drive a luxury car. I don't know if anybody else got a Chevy Cavalier in the front of me. <laughs> Nobody else want to admit to that? Who's an AC? Come on. Man, I hate the cops. I think the worst place is um, Leon Valley. Y'all know they just put the cameras up. They got the cameras with the lights in Leon Valley. If y'all didn't know, man, you know, I teach defensive driving. He mentioned that earlier, so that's a little, little heads up. You can get a ticket sent to you in the mail to Leon Valley. And to me, that's the worst place. What do y'all think the worst place to drive to is out there? Castle Hills. Yeah, Tony, Castle Hills is horrible. <laughs> Wincrest might be worse. <laughs> when, I, I avoid Wincrest at all costs. I just walk up on walk. Yeah, like, I, I'm with you, man. Like, I don't go to Wincrest at all. Like, I got a house in Wincrest. I ain't been home in like three years. <laughs> I just stay away, man. I, um,. So I, 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 was, I was joking about a Chevy Cavalier. I actually upgraded. I got me a BMW, so that is something I'm celebrating. Pretty proud about that. All right, one person kid. It's like my biggest fan right here. He's the only person that's... Hey, you hate him? I don't know. Nah, I love him. He got the, the Where's Waldo shirt. I don't know what that is. But... Why would you wear that in front of comedians? Like, every comedian is going to get on you tonight by the way it is. He even said it when he it. Oh, did he? Oh, you wanted to look like Waldo? Like, I'm going to kill him with a black Waldo. Oh, good. He might be on to something. Is it working? I'm just glad he's not black. Oh. He ain't black? Oh. You are black. I know, I am. He looks like Sinbad. Is that... Oh, okay, all right. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it because I know we got some other comedians. But man, I love San Antonio. The main thing I love out here is the Mexican food. Okay, I feel like San Antonio don't get enough credit for how good our Mexican food is. Okay, because I didn't get this. I'm originally from Arkansas. I didn't tell y'all, but uh, I, was, I was raised in Arkansas. But when I got to San Antonio, I got to try real Mexican food. Okay, stuff like uh, like real authentic Mexican food. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Stuff like menudo. Y'all like menudo, which is disgusting, by the way. Uh, Mole, but what I learned is all that is like soul food. Like all races got their own soul food. For real. Like y'all know what soul food is, right? Kind of, sort of. Okay. What's that? They give you the itis. That's right. Good soul food give you the itis. My definition of soul food is food that was created during like struggling times. Right? So for example, even back when black people were slaves, all they used to get to eat were the scraps and the leftovers and the worst part of the animal. And they had to make that into something good to the point to where they put their heart and their soul into it and it's made it so good we still eat the same type of stuff to this day. Okay, so we're still eating stuff like, what, neck bones and collard greens. Oh, you got quiet now, you ain't black. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna shut up on this part. <laughs> okay, but yeah, you know what soul food is. Yeah, chitlins. Okay, Mexicans got the same thing. They got the same, they got chitlins, they just call it something different, what they call it? Tarifas. Okay, so Mexicans got soul food too. They got stuff like tarifas and barbacoa and big red. Okay, so you know those go together? Oh yeah, those are big food. That's a, a red crack. Um, even white people got soul food. White people got stuff too, like uh, like hot pockets and um, whatever. Right? <laughs> he said potatoes. I was gonna say pop tarts and. I don't know, somebody said ramen. I'm still doing my research on that one. I'm still doing my research. Uh, man, this is actually all right. So before I get out of here, uh, I have been doing comedy for a long time, and uh, it's been a struggle, but, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be still doing comedy. Um, you know, this is cool right here. Like, anytime I can get on the mic, I'm, I'm happy because I did go through some hard times in the business to the point to where I, I, I became suicidal with this comedy business. Like, I was, like, I literally tried to commit suicide. Um, I ate a cold biscuit from Popeyes with no water, and um, I try to take myself out, man. But um, good things have been happening, and uh, I'm back on the right path. And, um, I'm not gonna tell you the whole story because I don't have that much time. But uh, I got blessed, and I've been doing a lot of gospel shows. I do like a lot of Christian comedy, and it turns out that was my path. So before I get out of here, can I do a poem that I wrote about it? You know, when I was overwhelmed with these blessings. So can we get into the poetry vibe again? Poetry vibe. There we go, ladies, patch your weed, patch your weed. Thank you, thank you. I, I love that sound. <laughs> Is it something about it? She got the Beyonce pad too. I love it. All right, here we go. All right, here's the poem. Raindrop. 
Drop. Oh, my bad. That's the wrong form. See, you messed me up. That was, that's your fault. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right. One more time, one more time. Finger snaps, finger snaps. All right. I recognize the full worth of what he's given, full worth of what he's given me, my epiphany, why he put this gift in me. I was dead asleep, but he lifted me, taught me to smile, turn my cheek, and love my enemy. My enemy was my enemy, holding me back from the ones that really needed me. So greedily I sinned repeatedly, easily influenced by the desires that were deep in me. Locked in the world of sin, but I stole the key, opened the treasures of hope that embedded me. Primarily, it made me a better me. I'm an everyday work in progress till they bury me. All right, that's all I got right there. Today. Appreciate it. I'm going to hand it back over to Ken Yo so we can keep this party going. Y'all keep it going one time for Ken Yo, the man. Oh, man. You got to give it up for a Do you snore or feel sleepy during the day? You may have obstructive sleep apnea. Sheba Dental may be able to improve the quality of your sleep with oral appliance therapy. And if you're already a CPAP user, oral appliance therapy can complement or even replace your CPAP therapy. Call Sheba Dental today for a free sleep evaluation consultation and a free sleep study to see if oral appliance therapy can help you get the sleep you've dreamed of. Sheba Dental, 210-448-1000.